awesome guys. We were talking about the compressibility of several substances and we arrived or we checked out this law of corresponding states. And it will be awesome to check out this experiment but for many substances and for many reduced temperatures and pressures. And some guys or scientists did it. They did this for reduced temperatures and reduced pressure. They calculated all these curves and got the values of the C factor or the C compressibility factor. And they got this equation, uh, sorry, this graph right here. This graph is C value or as you call it, the compressibility factor. This is my reduced pressure. And all these are temperatures. And you can also find these dotted lines as the real uh, specific volumes. So first thing first, uh, what I want to show you is that, see right here, right here, you can find the TR values, reduced pressures and C values. What else can I show you? Well, we have low pressures, which will be, this is until one, you can see this is from zero reduced pressure until one reduced pressure, which will be, you get back here, Will be this is one. So we have this graph right here. This graph is in is this one we're talking about. You can see they have a lot of reduced temperatures from almost reduced temperature 0.6 to reduced temperature 5. So from 0.6 to 5 we have this. And if you're working with high temperatures, uh, high pressures, we have that as well. Look, the reduced pressures are huge until from 0 0.1 to 30. Reduced temperatures we have from 0 0.8 TR until you get 15, 1.5, 10, 15, until 15 the reduced temperature, which is huge. And yeah, essentially we have a lot of diagrams. Just let me tell you that before advancing, I don't want to spoil you the game, but if let's see where do we have these diagram right here. This will be ideal gas. Where do we have it? Where do we got ideal gas? Let's say this is ideal gas. So for all this range of values, we're going to have ideal gas. Okay? Because the uh, C value will be almost one. So whatever you get this value, we can say that this is ideal gas. All other values, so let's say these values here or these values right here, may not be considered ideal gases. And that's very important because you're going to find out later that you want to favor the ideal gas formation for many processes. But that's for later. From now on, just know that you may use either low pressure diagrams and high pressure diagrams on compressibility factors. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues, or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.